Hi, welcome to MedManus. This is Dr. Ram here. So this session is all about the adrenal glands histology. This is also known as suprarenal glands because this gland is located at the top of each kidneys. The adrenal glands is composed of two major parts. One is the adrenal cortex and the other is adrenal medulla. If you see this picture, you can see the adrenal cortex here which is the outermost and the adrenal medulla is innermost. There are different layers in the cortex and the medulla which is going to secrete different hormones. I am coming to that shortly. And these hormones are so important for our body. And this is the light microscopy picture of the adrenal gland. You can notice the fibrous capsule here and followed by the cortex and the medulla, the innermost structure. In the cortex there are three layers, one is a zona glomerulosa, then the fasciculata and then the reticularis. These terms makes more sense. The glomerulosa layer which is the outermost, you can see a small cells which is an azinus like or you can also appreciate the inverted u shape like cells here and this is followed by a fasciculata so the cells here are going to be arranged in a fasciculus or a straight column like so this is zona fasciculata and then followed by the reticularis so the reticulum means network or net like the cells here are going to get arranged like a network or net like so these are the three layers and then the medulla you can clearly differentiate the cortex from medulla by the presence of wide sinusoids here so they are going to secrete different hormones the zona glomerulosa is going to secrete mineralocorticoids aldosterone is a powerful mineralocorticoid that is going to regulate the water and electrolyte balance in the body and the fasciculata is going to secrete glucocorticoids and the powerful glucocorticoid is a cortisol. This is going to affect the carbohydrate and protein metabolism of a body. And the zona reticularis is going to secrete the adrenal androgens like DHEA, dehydroepiandrosterone and androstenedione. And the adrenal medulla is going to secrete two important hormones at time of stress. It is epinephrine and norepinephrine now this is going to be a recall slide you can pause the video and recall yourself so the cortex is composed of three layers zona glomerulosa fasciculata and reticularis the glomerulosa is going to secrete aldosterone fasciculata cortisol and reticularis adrenal androgens and recall that adrenal medulla is about 20 percent of adrenal gland and it's going to secrete two important hormones epinephrine and the norepinephrine these hormones play a very important role at the time of stress i hope this session is super useful for you see you then thank you see you with more interesting videos